Hey, my Gilbabo fans, your boy Cretaceous or Gasman here, and today I will share you with one of my the um sorry, I mean awesome and interesting theories about the monster first. Well, they're more like facts than theories. So let's get to the video, fellas. I know all of this because my uncle's friend's third cousin, niece, sister, son, brother's daughter works at Legendary and she told me about it. Number 6. Devilman will fight King Kong vs. Godzilla. Or more like Godzilla vs. Kong, yeah, because. Uh, never mind. Now, I know, you might be laughing so hard that you vomit up your soul, but it's the truth. I have sources very close to Go Nagai, more specifically about 4,000 miles away because I'm too lazy but to buy a plane ticket. That proof Devilman will be in Godzilla vs Kong, and he'll fight King Kong, who wins the fight against Godzilla. Then Satan comes down, fights Devilman, and everyone dies. By the way, I am seriously conflicted over Satan's design. I like Caillou Girls, but it is GORGEOUS! Oh, uh, right, uh, back to the point. God resets everything. Yada 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 blah blah blah. Uh, stuff happens. And in the end, that I don't care about. No one wins. Yeah. I crossed your dreams, and I know it's true. <laughs> um, Alright, now let me, um, let me shut up and let's get to the exercise over the hot giant Condor girls. <laughs> Number 5 Godzilla. The King of the Monsters, part of the shared universe with Stranger Things? <laughs> Sounds believable, right? Because, think about it, the girl who appears as a main character in King of the Monsters actually 11 from Stranger Things of the Netflix series. Although I don't give a shit if this movie takes place in the present time, Eleven will appear on the movie. You can see her doing weird things on the I'm trying to reach monarch scene because um, she hears the roars of the Kaijus. And even more weirder, she's the only Stranger Things characters who appears on the trailers. Will her ugly ass friends appear on the movie too? I will say yes, because it's a fact and it's true. Also, let's not forget about that THICK Caillou Girls posters might appear in her room. <clears throat> uh, number 4 Aliens will take the dead motos and cybernetically make uh, Gigan. This one's my favorite, since the cyber chicken is my favorite superhero. So basically, the aliens came after the events of Terminator 2 Judgment Day and took the corpses of the dead Cloverfield monster, aka Moto, that Godzilla killed by accidentally puking in her mouth after seeing Logos Paul male only march. And those aliens aren't any aliens, but actually an army of Scyllas led by E.T. Now you are probably wondering why E.T. will do such a thing. Well, the answer is simple. He was behind most alien invasions from various films, including Birdemic and Everwa, the astral monster. And your view on E.T. the extraterrestrial probably got crushed because of this. But don't worry. You aren't the only one. I was literally sh shaking when I heard that in Legendary's office. He took the corpse and made Gigan by gluing aluminium foil to it. Gigan later destroys Godzilla in Godzilla vs Kong, but Kong is revealed to be Optimus Primal from the Transformers Beast Wars. He summons Skeletor, the almighty Skeletor using all the infinity stones, bringing Godzilla back with a snap of his fingers. Godzilla and Optimus do the default Fortnite dance, and then Gigan explodes in diarrhea from cringe. Number 3. The island from Kong, Skull Island, is Violante. You like Violante? She's a thick plant girl. Well, you're in luck if you want to see her again because she's already been in the MonsterVerse. Seen the anime trilogy? 
Godzilla was influencing the environment about him in that movie. And since Violante is a clone of him, she can do the same. I tell you, she is the island from Kong on Skull Island. Don't believe me? Well, you're a fucking idiot. It is obvious. Just take a look at how there is lightning everywhere around the island. Godzilla has been known for liking electricity and being able to use it, so Violante can as well since she's his clone. She will reappear in Godzilla vs. Kong, where she will now be dating Kong. What can I say? He likes her vibes. This theory is legit, dudes. Number 2. Destroya is Satan. So I was on Grint on the other day, looking for thick Caillou girls, and this man told me that Destroya will be in Godzilla vs. Kong, and that he was Satan. Obviously, I had to look into this, and wow, it was all true. The Oxygen Destroyer was actually seen on set for the f second movie. Yeah, I mean, not in the first one, anyway. And as we are known, Destroyer comes from the Oxygen Destroyer. Not only that, but he's red. Who else is red? Santa and Satan. Coincidence? No. It isn't. Godzilla is God, after all. It is in his name. What more fitting way to end of the MonsterVerse than a god fighting Satan? I think this theory is also pretty legit, guys. And I honestly see no flaws in it whatsoever. Type in the comments below if you think Kong represents mankind in this religious battle of epic proportions and give this video a like if Kong gets you wet. <clears throat> so we are going to the last one, number one, Bagan will be the villain of King of the Monsters. Wanna know who else is red? Bagan, partially, I don't care if it's lazy or uninspired. Bagan will 1,000,000% be the antagonist of King of the Monsters, not Ghidorah, and when he shows up, I will need a mop to clean up the cinema with before probably being thrown out because I will literally piss, bleed, cry, snot, drool and shit myself all over the cinema screen every everyone around me with excitement. All at once! I might even rub a few ki quick ones uh, before the purser sees me uh, getting my rocks up to something so lame. In fact, I can already feel it coming on this video. I did that when Brian Creston died in Godzilla 2014, and I spent two weeks cleaning the stains out of my classroom. Totally worth it though! Still recovering from it actually. Where I was again? Alright, Bagan. I heard that he even rips Mothra in half at one point and poops down Rodan's neck. And these are our Monsterverse theor- I mean facts that's for sure blew your mind. Leave a like if you feel empty inside.